So, um... Game development, generally, especially the indies, don't make a ton of money on it. I mean, I wish you the best of luck. But, um... If you can make money, go, go for it, but... I just want to warn you that, like... If you're going into it expecting it to be, like, a thing that makes you money, rather than a thing that, like, you enjoy doing, it might be just... Because, you know, so... If you're selling, if you're selling on itch, this is different. Itch.io doesn't take your money, so you get, so... Don't pay 10 bucks, you get 10 bucks, right? But it's very small. Right, here's Steam. Fucking huge. Now, Steam, it's a hundred bucks to get on there. If you make a thousand, you get that money back. Um, so, not a big deal, but they also take uh, 30%. So, if you if someone buys your game for ten bucks, you get seven bucks. And often it's even less than that, minus taxes and stuff. So, if, if a player spends ten dollars, it's pretty normal for you to only get, like, Five somewhere in there, um, and so you know, you, a new PC. I don't know where you're where you're located in the world, um, but a new PC where I'm at that that's like a significant upgrade, costs somewhere in the six hundred range. So, what is that? That's twelve hundred copies sold of a ten dollar game somewhere in there. And, um, that's a big ask. <laughs> so yeah, just like, don't don't let me discourage you from making a game, but do let me discourage you from, like, assuming it will actually make you money. You should be making games for fun, because making games for money, um, it's a little bit of a fool's errand, unfortunately. Wait, no, 1,200, so that's, actually, no, that's, that'd be 120, right? Yeah, you, sorry, not 1,200, 120. You need, to, you need to sell about 120 copies of a $10 game to make about 600, which is about a nice-ish. And obviously those numbers are all going to be completely different depending on where you live. 